Welcome back to my part two of my Dungeon Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realm set booster box breakdown. So I said before about how, to me, just to me, uh, this set is more about collecting than it is about playing MTG. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. There are some really, really great cards in here that you should have in your decks. Uh, but this set just hits on a different level for me. Uh, and I'll give you some examples. So starting off, we have Rust Monster. Why is this so special? Because this card really isn't that great. Uh, but when I was 13, I am now 46, the very first monster I fought in a D&D game that I was introduced to was a Rust Monster. So when I see cards and sparkles like this, yeah, I get excited. <laughs> uh, then also, you have great cards like Delina. Uh, yeah, she is a great commander to play. She's very fun. If you love rolling dice, I would highly recommend her. Uh, shout out to Mulligan MTG, because uh, this is definitely a great commander to have. I would definitely support that. Uh, and then the very first, like, huge, iconic beast I ever fought in D&D was a gelatinous cube. Uh, I just, it's the two things. I remember fighting the rust monster, and I remember fighting this cube. Uh, and that's quite impressive, because that was, like, over 30 years ago. Uh, it's just something I remember. And since I remember that, and I love Dungeons & Dragons, that's why these cards are more special to me. Uh, as a side note, this is the one card, one of the, the only card I've seen in the set that kind of confuses me a little bit. Uh, for In 5e, Dungeons & Dragons, Divine Smite is a Paladin ability, and it's a damage dealing ability. And it just, it if it's specced right, you can just whomp, just whomp your enemies. Uh, and that's why I don't understand why this, it's like it phases out. Like, I don't understand how that relates to Divine Smite. That's just me. Uh, it's not a good, uh, excuse me, it's not that bad of a card based on its own, but it kind of, I don't understand the Divine Smite tie-in. It seems like they just put the name on the card and was like, give it this ability, even though it doesn't relate to D&D, &D, uh, because in D&D, &D, a Divine Smite, when a Paladin hits, uh, you can use Holy Damage to damage your foes. Uh, another honorable mention, uh, the very first podcast I listened to that was Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, oh my god, now I can't remember the name. I'm going to have to pause. Was The Adventure Zone. Sorry, I couldn't remember that one for me. But if you ever listened to that one, it's really great. And Taco is one of my favorite characters I've ever listened to. Uh, he used a portable hole in it. No spoilers, but he used the portable hole. Uh, and that's what I'll always remember with this card. Uh, and this is fantastic. So, a lot of nostalgia in this set. Uh, there are some good cards to use in your decks, but for me, there's more nostalgia in this set than anything. Uh, and that's why I'll always love it. And it'll always have a special heart, place in my heart. Thank you so much all for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next adventure. Got some pack packs coming out.